Risk Management and Psychology The psychology of risk underlies the understanding and study of various mental perceptions that determine bodily responses to situations that are deemed risky, spanning a risk's impact recognition and frameworks for making judgments. As a result, the techniques and measures taken are often more objective. They are dependent upon the actual situations that can never be adequately assessed due to their unknown nature. The same goes for evaluating terrorists and related attacks that have similar widespread dimensions that limit appropriate assessment. Therefore, this paper looks into the social psychological aspects of managing risks and controlling victims' perceptions of risk. The brain is the central point where social behaviors and actions are pivoted. As a result, it is the determining factor of the influence that imagined, actual, or implied situations have on people's feelings, thoughts, and behaviors. Such risk management social psychological aspects as aggression, self-concept, stereotypes, social influence, attitudes, attribution theory, social cognition, interpersonal processes, and discrimination and prejudice are vital. Primarily, these aspects determine how people react in the face of risk. For instance, specific individuals may have an inherent stereotype against Islam due to their continued relationship with terrorism. They are likely to be fearful around them in anticipation of the occurrence of a risk. Undoubtedly, these aspects are consistently wrong and may lead to unintended character assassination. Despite this bias that may arise, it is an instinctive bodily response that occurs involuntarily. This is why risks associated with terrorism often require understanding these aspects as they are the primary determinants of decision-making and human judgment in a bid to attain safety. Due to this inherent role of risk management's psychological aspects, it becomes increasingly important to determine the importance of controlling victims' perceptions of risk or assessing the people who become terrorists. However, the control of perceptions of risks supersedes terrorists' assessment. In most cases, it is difficult to determine from one's character the inherent potential to grow into a terrorist or not. As such judgment is always subjective, these predictive analytics will likely include even those with no character traits that resemble those of terrorists. However, controlling risk perceptions is what can save victims in the face of risks from terrorists. These perceptions determine the reactions of individuals and how they handle themselves. They are also critical in ensuring that safety is enhanced. For instance, people who can maintain confidence in the face of terrorism are likely to get hold of themselves instead of those who are fearful. In the face of fear, one is likely to make rash decisions, leading to panic and anxiety, creating unwanted tension in these situations. Risk management in the psychological field has grown immensely and is arguably the starting point for safety. It is essential to focus on how its psychological aspects can be tailored to help individuals gain control over their perceptions to identify risk, avoid it, or act accordingly. As much as there is growing investment in predictive analytics, the understanding and investment in this concept elevate a victim's position and ensure a better assessment of risk. Through it, safety is assured from within oneself as opposed to dependence on government techniques.